but make sure that you, like George says, you have to make sure that your family knows what your wishes are. You have to tell your mom, your dad, if you're married, your spouse, your brothers, your sisters, and get up there and sign that card. Because George is living proof that it's his work. Mr. Tanadini made a little slight error. George has received two livers, and he's still around today. So sign those cards. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mr. Davis. Um, before we watch this video, um, just to just to remind you that we are doing this today as part of a nationwide uh, tour that started in the Maritimes, or started in St. John's, Newfoundland, through the Maritimes, through Quebec, through Ontario, and it it ends in in Victoria and then up to Nunavut. So this is a huge undertaking. Um, and you're going to see our torch champion right at the end of this. So maybe if you just run that. Can you turn that on? Okay, first of all, can you say your name and the school that you're from? Andrew Reese from GCDI. Okay. And uh, today, we, you know, today was the torch arrival in Guelph. And, uh, you know, one of your fellow students, Gavin Osborne, carried the torch today. He was the student torch champion. And we did an assembly today at school. And um, after hearing everything, and watching the PowerPoint, and what did you what did you feel, or what 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 did it do to you? I was really surprised that uh, Canada has one of the lowest organ donor rates, and um, that, and just the fact that uh, when I'm still alive, I can uh, I can donate my organs to save somebody's life. You know? That's correct, and and that's a part that we didn't talk about, which you brought up to me after the assembly. Yeah. And uh, it's a fact that you could be a life donor. You could donate one of your kidneys um, or a piece of your liver, which grows back after you donate it in two weeks to its full size. And it's done very successfully. Uh, but in Canada, there's an age uh, where you have to be 18 and over. Yeah, I can't yet. You can't yet. But there's also a girl in uh, Nova Scotia who you've seen on the PowerPoint from Pictou County, Courtney Greencorn. She wanted to do exactly the same thing as you after being inspired with everything. And she went to the uh, Nova Scotia legislation to talk about you know, lowering the age from 18 to 16 for consent. And they're actually talking about it now in Nova Scotia. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is what you know, I'm talking about, like the students uh, getting inspired. Here's a young boy. Uh, who, who wants to go over and beyond just signing a donor card. He actually wants to be a, a live uh, organ donor, you know. And, and uh, there can't be anything more powerful than hearing something like this. From how old are you? Uh, 
16 from a 16 year old boy you know it, this is very powerful very powerful to 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 know that you know he he, he heard there's over 4000 people waiting what can he do besides signing his organ donor card you know he he wants to so what i would suggest is um there's a uh, the life all the live donors are done in um, uh, Toronto uh, Hospital Toronto General Hospital and uh, it's called the live donor program at the Toronto General Hospital so you, you have to uh, phone them I don't have the number with me uh, but if you contact the Toronto General Hospital just ask for the live donor program and then uh, people will help you over there with you know applications and forms and then you'll get, you know, they'll tell you what the procedure is, but they'll also say that you have to be over 18. But if you want to go further than that, like if you really want to say, well, why can't it be 16? Why should it be 18? Um, what, what we can do is what that young girl did. She went uh, to the uh, legislation building in Nova Scotia and Halifax. Uh, we have Queen's Park over here. Did you they know. let her down? No, they're debating it right now. You know, like she made a passionate plea. They might be able to. They might be able to. You know, I mean, they got to discuss it. You know, some people are in favor of, of lowering it to 16. Some people are not, you know. Uh, and it's being uh, compared to many things. Why do people, uh, when we have a war going on, you know, uh, so, uh, people volunteer to go to war, you know, and, and at the risk of maybe losing their lives. I uh, hear there's no risk in, in making the donation, you know. So it's a very good argument uh, to have here in Canada, especially when we have this big shortage. You know, if we had more people coming forward to donate live organs, we can help alleviate the, uh, the short shortage, you know, eliminate them. Do you mind sharing five minutes with you? My name is Dan, I'm a reporter with the Guelph Mercury. Oh, wow. Would you feel comfortable with talking with me? Oh, you don't yeah. have to if you don't want to. Uh, I'm offering you the option. Yeah, sure. Okay. If you don't want to sort of make your decision or, or whatever your thoughts are, no, you don't have to. That's all I'm telling you. Okay. All right. Um, I just want to get your age as well. Sure. Know. It's uh, 52. Okay. Oh, I can I ask how many years ago yes. you would have had the transplant? You said 12 years ago. Yeah, 12 years. And that years. would have been where? Uh, Toronto. Toronto. And we had to listen all of And you're formerly from Guelph, right? Uh, no, I'm from Toronto, but I lived in Guelph for about 12 years. Okay. What years? Yeah. In the uh, what? What years? Uh, from 1988 to about 2000. All right, thank you. Okay. Right. okay. I know you have to head to class too, right? Oh, yeah. um, do you mind? Did, did you want to shoot that? Is that okay? Because okay. this is, yeah, this I is. I don't mind. Okay, if okay. He's comfortable with it? Yeah, you're okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Do you mind if I get your name then? Uh, Drew Reese. And can I ask you what you were considering? Um, um, when you're alive, you can donate uh, either one of your kidneys or a piece of your liver. And uh, I'd like to do that because, I don't know, I can't, I can't, I can look without that, you know? And it can save somebody's life. Yeah. Can I ask sort of how you thought about that? Does that just come to you now? Or did you sort well, of yeah, when I was thoughts? watching the video and I saw the thing about organ donations, it just made sense that since uh, I know that you can live without it, that a lot of people would do it. And I was really surprised that Canada has such a low rate of organ donations. Yeah, it definitely makes sense to sign an organ donor card as well. I was just talking to another student around the age of 16, and, and she was saying that, you know, this yeah, is something that not only 15 or 16 year olds would think about, you know, yeah. giving, especially because, you know, they don't think about death yeah. and giving away you know, part of their sort of live organs. And it sort of feels weird to think about that and a part of your body with somebody else when you're still alive. Have you sort of thought about that and, and sort of the seriousness of that and whether? you'd be able to sort of do something like that? Yeah, I mean, if you do think about it a lot, then 
it'd be a lot scarier 